Hi everyone, I have a haul I'd like to share with you and um, some cards that I've been working on this week. So I just wanted to go through some of the stuff and show you guys some of the inspiration I've got. Mostly has come from Pinterest. Um, I really could spend hours and hours on Pinterest looking at scrapbooking and cards and stuff. So great place to get some inspiration and um, I found quite a bit of it over the last week. <laughs> so anyways, um, just to kind of go over a couple of the things I got. Um, Hobby Lobby's got 50% off their spare parts um, products this week. So um, earlier in the week I picked up let me start here. Early in the week, I picked up some of these flowers, and uh, I really, really liked these. Um, I used them on a couple of the cards I wanted to show you, and so I wanted to go back and get some more before they ran out. Um, this was kind of my favorite. I got a really bad glare. Um, it's just a black and white, kind of like a, um, a damask or something on it, and um, I was able to um, put some stain over it for the tea dye, so it looked a little... Toned it down a little bit. So anyway, since those were my favorite, I got um, three of those. And um, then I did pick up one of the um, the brown and white polka dot ones. So got those. And then the other spare part stuff I got was these brads. Um, they're all black with little pearl centers. So they were $3.99, so 50% off of that. And then I got these brads also. These are like in a, an antique bronze color. So, I thought those were really cute also. And then I got, um, I know you won't be able to see these. Um, they're, they're, they're brads. It says lock and key brads. So, um, they've got little tiny keys and lock plate, lock face plates. <laughs> Easier said. So, and I got those. Those were also $3.99, so those were 50% off. Got those. And um, the other stuff I got, let's see here. Um, Stopped at Target and they had a couple other EK Success punches on sale clearance, three eighty three. So I picked that one up. Can never have enough punches. And then also while I was at Hobby Lobby, I got some uh, craft cardstock envelopes. Um, I bought the five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. Um, most of the cards I've been making are a little bit bulky, so I was hoping that the bigger envelope with some cardstock wrapped around the outside of it would protect it and be able to. To mail them. Um, although I did do a tutorial one time on um, an envelope for mailing bulky um, items, so it was like a, an envelope for bulky cards. <laughs> so you can go and check that one out. Um, it, that's a really nice tutorial. I was excited to find that one too. But so um, some of the other things I got was an order from Cherry on Top, and um, I got this All Hallows Eve. This is from Cardabella. And um, let's see if I can flip through some of these here. Like I said, this lighting is so bad. Doesn't matter if it's daytime, nighttime. When I try to do something, it's not good lighting. So skeleton on that one. Um, just some miscellaneous um, kind of uh, vintage looking to me um, cardstock. So hoping to make some cards with those. Let's see, some stripes. And bats, polka dots. So I got that one. Um, and then I also got, I'm not sure I'm crazy about this. Um, it's Christmas, but it doesn't really look like Christmas to me. I've got a couple other of the pads from Lost and Found, and it just kind of looks like the same stuff. The colors are a little bit different, not even really that Christmassy to me. So let's see if I can hold it down here if it changes. With stars, um, a couple of things saying merry and bright on them. That one says happy holidays, but so this one was not my favorite. Um, I thought I would like it, but eh, it's okay. Maybe I'll, I was thinking about doing a giveaway, so maybe I'll throw that in a giveaway. Um, but anyways, with my order from Cherry on Top, they, I don't know, they've never sent free things before, but I got this free little Christmas uh, tree mini stamp here. So I got that. And then I just got a couple of die cuts. Some Halloween die cuts. Um, ah, there we go. That's really... Got that one. And I got this one. Most of these I think were like 49 cents. That. And that one. And I know.
know this one was a dollar. It looked better in the picture, but oh well. <laughs> so, and I'm not going to go through all these papers because I bought a ton of paper. I mean, I spent like $51 and most of it was all on really just this card stock. Um, but I got um, these ghosts. I thought they were really cute. And I liked this paper a lot too for Halloween. And let's see what else was in here. Oops. Uh, this is just some graph paper, but it's done with the, um, hold it up there, orange and black. I don't know if you can tell or not. Yeah. So I like that. But um, just a bunch of miscellaneous papers. A lot of them were 33 cents. Um, just some of them I've already bought in the past, and they were some of my favorites, so I reordered them. Um, this was one of them. So, um, a lot of script paper graph papers. Just miscellaneous, so like I said, too many to go through. But um, cherry on top, if you've never checked them out, check them out. They get great stuff. Love, love, love their website. I order from them all the time. So, But the cards I wanted to share with you guys, um, let's see if I can get these in the frame here a little bit. Um, I was going through some of my scraps, and when I was looking on Pinterest one day, I got this inspiration. And um, I'm like, I have those papers, so I kind of Stole the idea, and um, this was my version of it. So, and on the bottom, I used my um, uh, Allie Edwards stamp. It says, Best of Friends. And then, this was just another little stamp. I think I picked this up at Joanne Fabrics. It was a bunch of little sayings, or might have been Michael's. A bunch of little sayings with uh, word bubbles on it. So, that's my first one. And then the inside is just finished off kind of plain, but I like to finish the insides off. Next one is kind of exactly the same, but it just says delight in the little things. So, it's the same thing. And then I wanted to do something masculine. I had this mustache paper. I, I really have no idea what the mustache craze is, so I'm not into it, but I had the paper and was looking to do a masculine card, so that's what I did. I bought this stamp here at Joanne Fabrics out of their um, dollar bin. It also came with another one that said something about um, for the man in my life, so thought that was a really cute stamp. So I made the little rosette and a twine bow and uh, cut this little banner out from some other cardstock that I had and then finished off the inside. So that's a really cute card. And the next one I have is kind of like a Halloween card. Um, also inspiration came from Pinterest. I did my tooling. I had, it was white and I tried to run some uh, black dot, um, black ink over it, <laughs> can't even talk, and um, kind of turned out just gray, which was okay, because so did the lace just turned out gray, too, when I tried to tint it, but um, all in all, it turned out cute, I really like it, this stamp I got at um, Michael's, I think it was from Recollection, and uh, kind of just ripped the edges, I burned them a little bit, um, layered the cardstock, it's just, um, let's see if I can't see, just some graph-like paper underneath there. And then I finished off the inside with some stamping. It turned out really cute. So I really like that one. And then I think the last one here is my absolute favorite. Um, I had this stamp from Unity Stamp for quite a while. I've never got a chance to use it. So it's kind of one of my goals is I'm going through some of my stamps that I thought were so cute and I had to have them, but never did anything with them. So um, this is also an Allie Edwards stamp. It says Life is Good. And I did the Harley on the top there. Brad's and Twine. And... Um, was just cut out from some other scrap cardstock and I finished off the inside like this so just been trying to use up scraps and coming up with some wonderful cards I think just out of scraps so I um, found lots of inspiration and I hope to keep going and um, look forward to watching everybody else's videos if you have any questions or comments I just leave them below and I'll get back to you guys um, I hope everyone has a wonderful evening and a great weekend can't wait to see what everybody creates over the weekend. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye.